this video guide I'm going to show you how to remove a laptop screen. This particular model is a Fujitsu Siemens. This method holds true for most laptops. So tools required for the job. A small screwdriver set. And a plastic ruler. If you don't have a plastic ruler, your fingers and nails will do fine. So safety first, remove the power jack from the laptop, just make sure it's removed, and of course the battery. Now, how to remove the battery from this laptop, there's two latches that hold this laptop in place, latch one and latch two as shown here. So unlock latch 1 to the right and unlock latch 2 to the left. I'll just show you how to do that now. So latch 1, latch 2. Now latch 1, you have to click it to the right. And latch 2, you have to hold it to the left. So hold it and then pull the battery straight up out of the laptop. Now let's get that cover off the screen. First thing you have to do is get a small flathead screwdriver and remove the rubber pads that are covering the screws. Next job now is to take a small Phillips head screwdriver and remove the screws. Now take a small plastic ruler and place it between the bezel and the screen. This can be hard to start off so just bear with it. It'll eventually click off and then you can get your fingers and start pulling the rest of it. Be careful at the top, there's two little latches that need to be pushed out of the way as you move along. Also on some laptop models there can be adhesive tape used to keep the bezel cover in place can make it hard to remove so slowly pull it away is best and make sure you don't bend the bezel too much or you'll break it and if you feel it's not coming away use a ruler as I showed you earlier just to prise it off between the screen and the bezel. Now move the back panel and screen flat on the table. Now don't force this, some laptops won't go back the full way. The idea of this is so that you can get at these screws here, the two that are holding the hinges on both sides. So now you have to separate the screen and the back panel so that you can get at the screws at the side of the screen, these guys here. So I use a handle of a screwdriver at the back just to hold it up a little bit so you can get these screws off. And the same on the other side. You may need a smaller screwdriver for these screws too. Now flip the screen over onto the keyboard. Be careful of the cables, don't pinch them. 
Now, there's tape holding the ribbon at the back of the screen and just undo the tape and you can pull it away. Now for the inverter, you have to remove the inverter from the screen. The first thing you have to do is take the clip off so you can flip it over. It's sometimes some laptops have a screw holding it. Now to remove that cable that's connected to the inverter, this guy here, just unplug it. Now, and that's your screen separated from the back panel. And the part number for this screen is on a label on the back of the screen and you will need this number for when you go to purchase a new one. Thanks for watching.